Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today, I am flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in my Oculus Quest 2 in my old hometown. I, I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Which is where I grew up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly to an airport that was actually closer to home at the time of my growing up. Which is Allegheny County Airport. So we may actually be able to fly over the city of Pittsburgh as well. Um, and I will say... The game is not entirely stable on the Quest 2 um, with my computer. I have a 1070 GPU, an i7, um, and it looks beautiful in headset, but recording and playing at the same time is quite the challenge. So what I'm actually doing is recording my face on the PC and the gameplay inside the quest. So I'm hoping there's not a whole bunch of artifacts. If there are, I apologize. What I'm trying to do is actually aim for Pittsburgh proper. I can see it over there in the distance. We're going to go look at Pittsburgh, and then we're going to go look at some of the suburbs of Pittsburgh, where I used to live. Um, it's just that, you know, that's one of the things that people do in this game. They go look at places that they used to live, Recall fond memories. Uh, the other thing I want to add is I have this game and I'm playing it thanks to a contest that I won on Twitter. The developer Econaut, who among other games developed the awesome VR game Falcon Age, was doing a photo contest uh, last week and I actually entered and won that contest. So I got the game from him. This is the Premium Deluxe Edition, which has some extra airports and planes and things of that nature. Uh, but otherwise, you can actually pick up this game right now on Xbox Game Pass, uh, which does work on PC, believe it or not. And for just a dollar, you can get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for three months right now. Uh, and that three-month subscription gives you three months that you can play this game on your PC and test it out in VR and see if it works on your system. I would recommend that over buying the game right now, um, just because if you're planning to play it specifically in VR, frame rates are not very stable, as you can see. Um, but it's it's so beautiful. It really is. Just, just looking at this stuff, it's fantastic. So we're going to head toward the actual city over here. Uh, one of the things that I really love about this game is, like, I'm, I'm hovering over towns and cities as I'm headed toward Pittsburgh, and it looks almost photorealistic from the sky. Um, and there are other flight simulators out there. X-Plane 11 is one that I can say for sure works pretty well in in immersing you, but it's nothing like this. And the other thing is, like, everything in this game that I've seen so far seems pretty close to what it actually looks like in real life. So crossing over these bridges, there are actual bridges that are in the Pittsburgh area. Um, there's three rivers that cross over by Pittsburgh. You can see the water. You can see the sun reflecting over the water. That little castle over there is the PPG Plaza building. All of these buildings are actually part of the Pittsburgh skyline. Uh, that building that has kind of a little spire over it in the background, that's actually a building, Fifth Avenue Place, I think it was. It might have been Penn Avenue Place. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but that building is one that I actually worked in for a number of years. 
So crossing over the city of Pittsburgh. This is pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. And that is, I believe, the Homestead High Level Bridge. That would have taken me home after work. And there's a stadium right there. I believe that was the University of Pittsburgh's Panthers there. Now we're crossing over some of the other areas of town here. Heading further into Allegheny County, there's another airport over here. And everything, at least in headset, is a little bit stuttery, unfortunately. I think, you know, with with my current PC setup, with all the landscape, with the lighting and everything else, it kind of suffers. But it's still enjoyable, even with the low frame rate, even with the small amount of stutter that I'm getting. It plays pretty well, I have to say. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with just being able to see these sites and being able to take this journey, if you will. We're headed toward the airport over here. really need to slow down before we get there. Here we come into the... Let's hope at least. We come into the right airspeed too slow. Or too fast rather. Let's see if we can break. Go right off the runway, of course. All right. So we are now on the ground. And this is an actual fairly accurate facsimile of the Allegheny County Airport. This is a small airport. near Pittsburgh, but not in Pittsburgh. And that's just a quick flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more content soon. I do encourage checking this out, whether in VR or not. It does play pretty well in the Quest 2, I have to say, uh, with Link. I have a lot of artifacting, a lot of issues with Quest 2 over virtual desktop, it does work that way as well. And I had some significant issues using the Rift S. So playing with Quest 2 over Link seems to be best for my particular PC with my particular needs. Um, I'm kind of blown away, to be honest with you, with the, the realism of looking out around this plane. Uh, there are other planes that give a little bit better viewing angles and things of that nature, and other planes that are more commercially available planes as well. But I, I kind of like these ones that have kind of like an open uh, canopy up above you. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.